Hello guys, thank you for tuning in. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, on this evening's review, we've got another craft beer for you. And it's one by the famous Brew Dog. This is their Rattle and Rum uh, Stout. It's 7.4% uh, ABV. So that's quite good uh, strength to this one. Uh, it's their Rum and Oak Chip Stout. There's a little close up look at the can. As you can see, it looks kind of like it's like newspaper, like typed on there like a newspaper or something. There's a QR code there that you can scan if you want some more information about the beer. Give that a go. But yeah, it's quite a basic looking can, but I quite like it. I think it's quite stylish in its own little way. Uh, it says on the can that it's a limited and exclusive small batch release. So Brewdog tends to get a lot of uh, stick for since they've become a big company, just throwing the beers out there, mass producing them and uh, not being as good as what they used to be. So maybe where this is a small batch release, uh, perhaps they've taken a bit more time and care into making sure they could do a good beer like they used to. So yeah, let's see what we think about that. Um, yeah, it says, uh, with support from hops and barley. Let's crack it open anyway. And get it in this uh, rather extravagant looking stout glass. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of stout, so I'm trying to get into them. Um, I do occasionally find one that I can tolerate every now and again, but I'd like to find some that I really like, really. There you go, it's in the glass. It's quite posh, doesn't it? it? Does look quite nice. I do like this glass, it is proper over the top, but yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. It is actually a stout glass as well, believe it or not. Anyway, it's a does it looks jet black that one, look at that. That is black as black can get. You've got like a tanned head on there with uh ultra compact bubbles. And yeah, I'd say that is Jet black, can't see through it at all. Can't even see what the carbonation is. Anyway, let's, let's get the aroma. Oh, that smells really nice. I'm getting, uh, first thing I'm getting is actually rum and raisin ice cream. You know that uh, ice cream you get, it smells a lot like that. Um, it smells a little bit sweet. Getting some uh, chocolate in there as well. Vanilla. It's probably one of the best smelling stouts actually I've come across, personally for me. But yeah, the main thing for me, the main standout aroma I'm getting is definitely the rum and raisin ice cream. The vanilla and chocolate. It does smell very rich. Um, but very nice, it does, it does smell very nice, that aroma impresses me, um, making me look forward to trying it, and it's a stout, so uh, it's quite surprising, isn't it? Anyway, cheers guys, let's uh, see what it's all about, shall we? Bosh, see Brewdog have uh, made a decent beer here. I quite like that. I quite like it. First impressions, one of the better stouts I've tried, for me personally. But one thing that's a real shame for me uh, that stands out straight away is the body. It's I've got a very thin body. And I, it's one thing that slightly puts me off of a lot of these craft stouts. They're all very thin, like to the point where mouthfeel wise it's like you're drinking a glass of coke now i would prefer it to be more thick you know like when you get a guinness on tap i'd prefer that kind of body personally and it's a shame that they all seem to be really sort of a uh, thin on the mouthfeel and that's one of the things i do like about a guinness is that sort of thick creamy sort of uh thing about it you know and uh this just doesn't have that however 
tastes quite nice from the first mouthfeel. Let's uh, dive in again and uh, see what sort of uh, flavours we can pick up. Next thing that sort of stands out to me that I feel I need to mention before I go too far into the flavour is 7.4% and it does taste 7.4%. Um, yeah, you can tell that you're drinking a strong in here. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, they 7.4%, it tastes 7.4%. Uh, and I am getting like a woody kind of taste to it as well, which uh, I didn't think it did say it's. Uh, <sighs> Does it say it had wood in it? Uh, oat chips, doubt, yeah. Uh, you can get that kind of woodiness from it. I would say the taste follows the aroma rather well. You're getting that uh, rum and raisin ice cream. Although it smells a bit more like rum and raisin ice cream than it tastes. For me, it does still taste like rum and raisin ice cream. Uh, and I really like that ice cream. So I'm quite enjoying this. Uh, I'm also getting like a kind of smoky coffee taste in it as well. It is quite rich. I'm getting the chocolate as well. I tend to find a lot of these craft stouts that smell like ashtray as well, but this one doesn't, so that's rather nice. <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying this. It's, it's, it really is quite nice. It's not the sort of thing I'll drink loads of. For me, this is just a one can and enjoy it sort of thing, you know. 7.4%, you're not gonna wanna uh, session it anyway, or you'd get absolutely smashed off your titties, wouldn't you? But um, this is a nice, like, winter warmer, though, this is. It really is. Um, the alcohol's giving it a nice warming taste as it goes down your throat into your chest. Um, it's got nice, rich, like I say, Rum and raisin, a vanilla, getting the coffee, the chocolate, sort of flavours going through. Um, yeah, I personally think this is nice. I don't think it'll be for everyone. But uh, considering I'm not a massive fan of stouts, as I say, I really am finding this quite drinkable and quite pleasant. Mm. I particularly like the raisin in it. It does have that slight alcoholy taste to it, but then you get the, the raisin hit comes after the like, alcohol taste, and it seems to like, go together quite nicely, actually. And it's exactly that raisiny taste you get with the rum and raisin ice cream. So you're definitely picking up the rum as well. For me, this is one of the few stouts I would actually buy again. It's kind of surprised me. Right? It's from Brewdog and all that, like. But, you know, for me personally, I think it's okay, guys. Uh, if you've tried it, let me know what you think. Did, did you think this is quite good? Uh, you know, for Brewdog or whatever. I just think it's nice regardless of who's brewed it. Uh, it cost me £3 in Asda, this one. And it's also in the 4 for free deal. So that makes it a bit less than 3 quid. And you get a good strength a stout with lots of flavour. And I think it's quality stuff. Score wise. I'm actually enjoying it more as I go along as well. Perhaps where it's not my usual kind of drink stout. I think it's taken uh, me a little while to adjust to it. Because it's you know a lot different from um, a lot of the drinks that I normally drink, but I sometimes find that because I, I quite like a Guinness in the pub, but I sometimes find it takes me a little while to get used to that as well. 
because I don't drink it often, but when I do drink it, sometimes the first one takes a while to get down and then I get the taste for it. And that's kind of happening with this, actually. Well, I say, I think it's a good and I'm gonna go for an 8.5 out of 10. I'm really enjoying it. And I recommend you worth uh, give it a try, guys. I think, I think it's definitely worth a go. And if you do try it, let me know what you think. I'll be interested to see. And uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Please smash that like button for me. And hopefully I will see all of you on the next video. Bye-bye, darlings.